Hey guys, this is Zach from TurboSmart. Today we're doing a compact EM dual port install on this 2024 Toyota Sequoia. So first things first, we're gonna pull the engine cover off of here. Simply pull the front corners and lift up and out. This vehicle has two diverter valves located on it. And we're gonna start on the left-hand side of the vehicle. We're gonna take off this intake coupler here. You can see it's on the left side of the vehicle by the indicator here. And we'll take off the first clamp and the second clamp. You can either use a Phillips or a 10 mil socket on these. Now you can clearly see the factory diverter valve right here. We're gonna first start up by removing this connector here. Next up, we're gonna remove these three screws, securing the valve to the charge pipe. To do this, we're gonna utilize a T30 Torx bit. Once we have these three screws removed, you can go ahead and remove the factory diverter valve. Next up, you're gonna get your compact EM units you purchased. Go ahead and remove one from the box so you can install it on the car. One important thing to note is to ensure that the inner and outer flange O-rings are both in place. If you're not immediately sure which orientation the flange is going to be sitting in. You can go ahead and rotate it here and make sure you pull the unit off and then you can visualize where it's going to sit on the charge pipe. Make note of the open end pointing towards the rear of the vehicle. Next up, we're going to set the unit in and use three of the six Allen screws provided to secure the valve. Make note of the orientation of the solenoid. Now that the compact EM is installed, go ahead and take in the new solenoid plug and the OEM factory wiring harness. Go ahead and plug them in. Now that the compact EM is installed, we can go ahead and install this factory intake tube. Remember to tighten the factory clamps, that way the intake tube is secured. The right hand side is easily accessible after you remove the engine cover. It can be located behind the cooling reservoirs. To remove the factory diverter valve, go ahead and unplug the OEM harness. Next up, you'll need to remove the three torque screws securing the unit to the charge pipe. Once the three screws are removed, you can remove the OEM diverter valve. One important thing to note is the opening on the flange needs to be pointed towards the front of the vehicle. Now you're able to install the secondary EM unit on the right side of the vehicle. Make note of the orientation of the solenoid on the EM valve. Once the compact EM unit is installed on the right-hand side, take the new solenoid and the OEM harness and connect them. When installing the engine cover, make sure you align the two bushings in the rear like so, and you're going to push the front down on these two standoffs, here and here. Now that these are installed, let's take it for a drive and see how she sounds. 